Thank you, Michael Debaters. Thank you, Big Brother, for this uh, topic. And as you know, we're here to support the motion that joint account is actually very necessary and say yes. I'll give you reasons. I heard what Michael Debaters said, and it all boils down from a place of lack of trust and lack of love. But the question here is why are you going into a marriage if you do not trust your partner? It's very, very sufficient. It's, it's right there. Your partner says to you, let's, let's open a joint account. It's for reasons best for the woman because we actually want the woman to be self-sufficient and the children to have what, everything they need. I'll give you for example, you said the case of um, having to wait for, you want to get basic amenities, basic food supplies in the house and you have to wait for your husband who has traveled. There is debit cards. Debit cards can be issued and you can have access to debit cards to use it and get anything you want. You don't have to wait for a signature for the other person. To, you can always communicate and he will say, okay, no problem, let's do it. And who says that when you have a joint account, you cannot have a personal account as well? You can have your own personal accounts because you can always want to do your thing. You are your own human being. But operating a joint account simply means everything we need to get together for the family comes from this source. I will tell you for, for one, in Africa today, everybody knows that widows go through the most traumatic experience when their husbands pass away. So imagine when it, this could be avoided if there was a joint account. Yes, if there was a joint account, once the husband is no more, the woman would have rest of mind and know that she can get everything that she needs without the husband. We have situations where families come after the husband passes on. Families come, they attack and they take everything. I have a personal experience. I have a personal experience where my mom and her and family had to go and seek for things on our own because we did not want any stress with the external family. So joint accounts is out of love for the, for the wife and the children. We're not doing it for our own personal um, gain. No, we want protection for our family. We want protection for our kids. We want to make sure that they can get anything they want without us being there. So, saying so much, I did say stuff about the widows. And there's a personal experience from my co-debater here, from my colleague. Wait until you listen to his story and you will see why joint accounts is actually necessary. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Paul. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to understand the meaning of joint. What do you understand by joint, if I may ask you? Joint is when one or two things come together and make it one. As you know, the popular saying, what God has joined together, let no man bring asunder. And that's been said, personally, I went through a lot as a kid. My mom, well, let me just start by saying, this happened like 15, 20 years ago. Unfortunately, my dad, being the breadwinner of the family, was assassinated. By unknown, by unknown gun men. And my family is a family that normally, when we need to eat or drink or travel or anything, my mom will literally go and meet my dad. Husband, honey, we need food for this. Every day, that's how we lived. But unfortunately, and when that happened, my dad left the picture. My mom was devastated. Life as we knew it came to a heart. Hot is probably a mistake name. Hot is probably standstill. It went down the hill. Everything went on disaster. We couldn't barely take care of ourselves anymore. Because unfortunately, the joint account, which I believe that would have been appropriate, was not made. Now, my mom was uneducated. She was 32 years old with six kids. Imagine a 36-year-old, 32-year-old with six kids having to look after these whole kids education with nothing because they should have the possibility of having a joint account.